Hey everybody, Ashton here with Gen Sense, and this is gonna be a full force fragrance video. If you're unaware of what that is, it was a channel that I started that had two uploads on it that both sucked. It's basically for just more off the cuff, casual kind of things where I don't try to uh, keep everything as PC as I normally do. I was adjusting things. So this one is just gonna be about Momos. And I like that word, Momos. I watched too much story time with Greg Valentino. So this is just gonna be a video about people and things that annoy me. Obligatory comment about how I annoy somebody out there. All right, let's go. If I put my sunglasses down, that's me acting like I'm somebody else. So that's not me talking, that's the person I'm making fun of. Just so we, just so we understand how this works. First up, niche snobs. If you are on any Facebook groups, you have seen tons and tons of posts made by niche snobs. And you know how that usually goes. Sauvage is so generic, I would never want to smell like that. Everybody smells like that, it sucks. It gives me a headache. Varvados, lame. Performance is crap, it sucks. Ultramol, too sweet. Too lame. It's like a child's fragrance. Bubblegum, bubblegum sweetness. I don't care about compliments. I wear fragrances for me. I don't care, Ultramol gets compliments. It sucks. Laventure. A cologne, it sucks, I don't wear clones. Clones are for broke asses. It's for peasants, I don't wear it. It's for the plebs out there, all the plebs wear that juice. I wear real man juice. Like interlude, I spray it on myself 15 times. I don't care what people think, I don't care. I've got a developed nose, I have to have things that challenge me. Niche knobs, they're the best. It's always about the most underground, unappealing, stanky ass oud fragrance possible. They love it, they love to piss you off. If you disagree with them, they'll just call you a peasant. They'll tell you that you have no clue what you're talking about, that you're broke, that you can't afford it, that they're better than you. Because they have so much money that they can piss away on their $500 exclusive bottles. And I know what you're thinking. Aren't those all niche fragrances behind you? Yes, they are, but I'm not a niche knob, I think. So niche knobs, tone it down. We get it, you're better than everybody else. You're richer, you're more intelligent, you're more developed, you're more refined. But that doesn't change the fact that 95% of people think you smell like shit. And yes, there is the odd 1% out there that can pull off almost any fragrance and get compliments, but for most people, that's not the case. Uh, number two on the list of things that annoy me, Hypercritical people. I don't like the background music in your video. I don't give a shit. Your music's too loud. I don't give a shit. I don't like your haircut. I don't give a shit. I don't like your shirt. I don't give a shit. I don't like when you do lists. I don't give a shit. I don't like the topic of your video. I don't give a shit. Nobody fucking cares. Here's a pro tip. If you don't like something, don't watch it. Leaving dickhead comments just makes you look like a dickhead. And I get it, some people out there are trolls and they want to get you triggered. But I don't really get triggered. I just block you. Goodbye, shitty commenters. Goodbye. Number three things that annoy me, eBay morons. Yes, I have an eBay store. No, I do not advertise my eBay store. I'm not doing this YouTube channel to try to push sales my way to make more money for myself from my subscribers. So in general, I don't advertise it at all. Now I know some of you might wanna like buy things from me, but I feel kind of torn between saying, here's my store, if you want to, you can buy stuff from me, and just leaving it how it is because I don't want there to feel like there's a conflict of interest for the people watching. But seriously, some people on eBay are morons. And if you've ever sold on eBay for any amount of time, you know that what I'm saying is the truth. It blows my mind to the point that I end up looking like one of the aliens from The Thing. It completely destroys me and changes my DNA because they're so stupid. At this point, I have like 3,000 feedback, 99.9% .9 positive. All of that dealing completely with fragrances. And I swear to you, every week or two, I will get somebody who goes, I can't even smell this fragrance, it's fake, and I know that it's fake because I can't smell the fragrance. Most of the time, the fragrances that they're saying this about are frigging Montals or Mancera's like oud-based fragrances that will burn your frickin' nose hairs. And yet, I still get those comments. When you sell on eBay, you will deal with morons. When you sell fragrances on eBay, you will deal with double morons. It's like Double Dare featuring Mark Summers with more dumbasses. And if you sell on eBay and you see these usernames, block them, because these are all the people I've had to block. Doing you a solid. 
Just go ahead and pause it at that part and just block every one of those people. Just save yourself the trouble. But in all honesty, if you're buying on eBay and you're a paranoid kind of person, if you're the kind of person where you buy something and within 15 seconds you go like, oh my god, I bought a fake. Maybe you shouldn't be buying fragrances on eBay. Just a pro tip. Especially decants, because decants don't come with the original bottle or box, so there's no real way for you to verify the authenticity other than trusting the person that you bought from and knowing what the hell you're talking about. Or knowing what the hell you're smelling, I guess. So just don't do it. Because you're already gonna convince yourself it's fake, and when it comes in the mail, you're gonna cut it open, you're gonna spray it and go, Oh hell, I don't think that's how it was supposed to smell. And then you're gonna ask for a return and make it a pain in my ass. Oh, I guess I should have had it on like this. Oh hell, I don't think that's how it's supposed to smell. Whatever, moving on. Number four, designer douches. This is like the opposite of niche snobs. They're not niche snobs, they're designer douches. These are the kind of people that are gonna go like this. Emporio Armani, stronger with you. Damn, this is the best fragrance I've ever smelled. I got so many compliments. I wore it once and got 17 unsolicited compliments and laid. Aventus, that's bullshit. Green Irish Tweed, that's bullshit. Amouage, that smells like cat piss. Bond number nine, that's synthetic. They're actually right about that one. But seriously though, Designer fragrances are great, they're more mass appealing, they're easier to wear, they're cheaper, they're more affordable, they're made for the masses, and for the most part, they succeed. But all niche fragrances don't suck just because you like designer fragrances and or can't afford them. There are badass niche fragrances, and there are badass designer fragrances, and guess what? There's crappy niche fragrances and crappy designer fragrances too. They're all underneath the same sun. Some of them are great, some of them suck. Let's go down to number five. Fake ass reviewers. Hey Ashton, you're a fake ass reviewer. You got some sponsorships, so I can't trust anything you say. Okay, I can tell you that's not true, and you're either gonna believe me or not. I tell you exactly what I would tell you, whether I got the bottle for free, whether I paid for the bottle, or I got it for half price, whatever. But would it surprise you if I told you there are some people out there that will bull at you? Probably not. Would it surprise you if I told you that there are some reviewers out there who asked for free stuff from companies and when they didn't get the free stuff they wanted and or it wasn't up to their expectations of the amount that they would get for free, they decided to trash every single damn fragrance that house made? Would it surprise you if I knew exactly how that went down? No, I'm not going to tell you who did it or who didn't. But would it surprise you? Would it surprise you? If some people get tons of free stuff from certain places and they may or may not tell you how badass it is when it actually sucks. Or that they may actually think of it as a five but present it to you as an eight. And I guess the last one I'll talk about is brand psychos. People that will threaten you with death if you say anything bad about their favorite brand. Or maybe if you say anything positive about a brand they hate. Dua Fragrances, how are you doing? If you say anything positive about Dua Fragrances, you're screwed. People are going to come after you. If you say anything negative about Dua Fragrances, you're screwed. People are going to come after you. So what options do you have? Say nothing about anything, otherwise you might butt hurt somebody. And I'll just leave that there. Brand psychos, you know who you are. Maybe dial back your love or hate of certain fragrance brands a little bit. It's just perfume, cologne, fragrance. But yeah, those are some of the momos who annoy me. Let me know some of the momos that annoy you. And if you put that I annoy you, why are you even watching this? Especially this long. As always, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.